What's going on everybody, it's Dakota here for another video and I'm really excited because this is a really cool video. So not only do I have some really big updates on the S2000 and we're throwing parts on today, I bought another car and it is awesome. As far as updates on the S2000 go, one, I have some parts that I'm going to install today, but two, I didn't get to film this because I lost my SD card and I'm getting this car ready for Super Lap Battle this Saturday so I had to throw it on. With that being said, let me get this car to the garage because I think y'all are going to freak out over this. Alrighty, now the car is out of the garage and looking nice and fresh and clean. As you saw the last time, what we did, that beautiful carbon fiber hood. I've been waiting on this part for about four weeks because it's back ordered. Guys, I got one of my dream mods. Check it out. So I finally was able to get myself a big wing. I've wanted one since I bought this car. And not only did I fall in love with the wing immediately, but I fell in love with the car all over again. I didn't even think that was possible. But it is actually pretty damn big and it's all carbon fiber. This is the... Uh, what is it? APR GTC 200 and I also have the two and a half inch risers. Super easy install, super good quality, and man, just look at that. But now with the wing reveal out of the way, let's go ahead and throw on some more parts. I got some new side screws for the car, either from Basin R Motorsports, and they look pretty good, so let's throw them on. Alrighty y'all, so first of all, this is them right here, and after like a rough mock-up, they look awesome, and this is going to look so good on the car. The only bad side, I uh, don't have a high enough lift to properly install these because I need to like drill and use self tappers and all that also the hardware and all that perfectly fine and these are gonna be great that being said um, unfortunately I have to take this thing to work tomorrow and I'll install it then but I promise after that I will show you all how it looks alrighty y'all so I just got home I washed the car and I installed the side skirts and I gotta say just look at it so this really complements my front lip and it fit perfectly and it just looks that much a little better it matches the wheels and everything I am just again in love with this car, like with the wing, the splitter, the hood and everything. This car is just looking absolutely insane. I have it all ready for Super Lap Battle tomorrow, which I'll try to get on camera. But that being said, I told you all I got a new car. Let me show you what I got. So as most of you all know, my fiance has a CRV that we got after her Integra was totaled. That's a great car and honestly I loved it so much, I had to just go get myself one. So this is my new daily driver. It's a 2000 Honda CRV, and it's pretty neat because it already has these off-road tires and nice wheels on it. It has a three-inch lift all the way around. That one is front-wheel drive. This one is all-wheel drive. Already since I've got it, I've done quite a bit of work to it, and I have a crazy story of how I got this. So number one, I put switchbacks in there so they're clear when the car is driving, and they turn amber when switching back and all that. So this whole headlight's clear, which is cool. I have these stupid bright ditch lights I just put on last night, and I'll show you all once it gets a little darker. I have a roof basket that I put on. I got a roof rack, which if you own a CRV, you know it's pretty hard to come by in the junkyard. 20 bucks, and I just got there in time to get it. I have the well visors, and one of my favorite parts, the Onaka catback exhaust. So yeah, that is my CRV, my new daily driver. I absolutely love that car and how just, it's like so much utility. I've got to show you guys, it has the camper package and the table, which is really neat. It is the ultimate little like mini overland car, which is actually what we're gonna do with it. We're gonna make it into a small like overland build. So it's really exciting and I just can't wait because I already have like a plan in my head. Anyways, so the story of how I got that car and also I'm pretty sure you all know, the Integra's not in the driveway anymore or the garage. So sad times, we did sell the Integra. The reason why is because it had so much rust, so much Bondo under the body damage. I was like looking at it more and more because I was like, okay, let's get it painted and all that fun stuff. It had way more Bondo than I thought, way more rust than I thought. Started having leaks from everywhere. With a 300,000 mile engine, I can see it. Unfortunately, the car was just gonna cost way too much money to get to where I wanted it than it would make feasible sense to. So it makes more sense to just get another Integra with less damage. It could actually be cheaper to do that. So, sucks, but we had to let it go because I had that car for like two years and I loved it. Don't get me wrong, everybody loves that car, but it's okay, we'll get another one in the future and I already have plans. But that being said, this is a new daily for me, a new experience, it was a lot of fun, and also I can make more content with it, so that's super exciting. That being said, so when I sold my Integra and I bought this car, I bought that CRV for $2,900. That's already a deal on the first part, but next he came with five OEM wheels that I put on my fiance's car, which I didn't even show you, I'll show you later. But yeah, with brand new tires, so I already got that. Sold my Integra for, I think, 2200 So I only paid, in theory, a couple hundred bucks to that CRV, And all I needed was a new cat. And I threw on the Yonaka. So yeah, I got a stupid good deal on that car. And I love it. So 
yeah, it's Electron Blue, and I am gonna make it into an Overland build, so I'm super excited. Alrighty guys, now that it's dark outside, first of all, these are my LED headlights. So those are bright enough as it is, but check it out. I have a switch wired right here, and these are my ditch lights. This is how it looks from the front of the car, so as you can see, it is just stupid bright. And I think I'm gonna add a light bar on top, but man, this thing is ready to go off-road. So yeah guys, I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here. I'm just really happy I was able to show you all my new Sierra Beaks. I love that thing, and I'm super excited for all the stuff we're gonna do to it. The S2000 is looking awesome, and those, you know, all the updates on my cars right now, but I have a lot more planned coming, so again, stick around if you like the content. I really appreciate it. See ya.